Peter Moore is the head of Fonterra's international farming ventures. He is currently based in China, overseeing the development of the company's Chinese dairy farms. Mr Moore says Fonterra's first farm, Tangshin Farm, came online in 2008, and while there were some challenges operating in a developing country, things are now going exceptionally well. I'm going extremely well. We're producing good production levels, good high quality milk, producing milk very similar to what you'd expect to produce in New Zealand. So very pleased with that one, and it was a pilot. The second farm is under construction. First uh, heifers went to it um, in the middle of June and will be fully commissioned at the end of October. So we're going to have two fully operating farms by the end of this calendar year. But these are not dairy farms, as Kiwis know them. Oh, they're very different. These are large-scale freestore feedlot type operations, something you'd see probably in parts of the United States or Europe, but certainly we've done a lot of adaptions to those models to ensure that the New Zealand genetics and New Zealand cows and can perform extremely well on them, plus obviously introduce some new technology and milking machines, etc., to make the farms perform at a very high level. Mr Moore says while there were initially questions as to how New Zealand cows would perform in such a foreign environment, the cows have now well and truly answered those questions. Well, I mean, it's, New Zealand genetics have performed exceptionally well. They've certainly performed as well as what you would expect virtually any genetics in the world to perform in a feedlot farm. The cows are producing in feed lactation in excess of 10,000 litres, which is equivalent to anything you expect anywhere in the world. While Fonterra's first farm was known as a pilot project, and all the farms are located in what is known as the Utian County Agricultural Demonstration Zone, Peter Moore says the farms are true commercial operations. But certainly from Fonterra's point of view, this is about building traceable scale milk supply in China to sell milk to our customers, with this high customer demand. I mean, it's our, our major part of the business model, but at the other side of the coin, as locals do certainly come and look at our operations and see how we do things and see how they can take some of those thoughts away and perhaps run their own operations. But this is all part of modernising the China dairy industry. The China dairy industry is changing very rapidly at the moment. Peter Moore says the Chinese dairy industry is one of extremes, where the average herd size is less than 8 cows, but where there are also commercial operations with more than 10,000. Each of Fonterra's Chinese farms will employ roughly 100 local people once they're up and running, to help milk the 3,000 odd cows on each farm. Sounds a lot of staff for 3,500 cows, but they do run 24-7, so we've got basically on most cases three shifts running each day cows are milked three times a day, so it's quite a different model to what you see in New Zealand. He says that each additional farm is a small step towards Fonterra's goal of being a strong domestic Chinese milk producer. Benedict Collins, Country 99 TV News.